Hello, we're pulling. What's up, it's Jimfo from Ready Check Pull, and this is our official boss guide for normal and heroic Stone Legion generals. This guide is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. They get early access to these guides before anyone else, so if you want early access too, check out the Patreon link below. Stone Legion Generals is the second to last boss of the raid, and it's a pretty unique two boss encounter. There's essentially three phases in this fight, with a couple of short intermissions between them. In phase one, you fight General Call while General Grishal flies around and casts one of his abilities. Then in phase two, they swap places and you fight Grishal while Call flies around and casts one of her abilities. Then finally in phase three, you fight both generals together having to deal with all their abilities at the same time. So let's jump right into phase one. On pull, a tank needs to pick up General Call, bring her towards the middle of the room and face her away from the raid while the rest of the raid stacks up behind her. Two players will occasionally get marked with red arrows above their head. These players need to immediately move off to the same side and stay a few yards separated from each other like this. After a couple seconds, Call will throw her wicked blade that goes from her to each player and then back to her, exploding on those players and anyone else hit along the way. The short range explosion does a decent amount of instant damage, but it also applies a permanent bleed debuff. This ability can wipe you real quick, so make sure the marked players get off to the side ASAP and the melee especially need to make sure that they're not standing in the direction of the blade. The only way to remove the permanent bleed is with the crystallize ability that Grishal will occasionally cast. He'll mark a random player with a brown circle and after five seconds, everyone in the circle will take damage, get stunned, and most importantly, get all of their bleed debuffs removed. So the player with the circle should move a little out of the raid and everyone with a bleed debuff should quickly move into the circle to remove their bleeds. Immediately after those players get stunned, several other players need to move into this new circle to help the stunned player survive the meteor strike that follows. The tanks are also going to have to use crystallize to remove the tank specific bleed. Call frequently hits the current tank with serrated swipe, which applies a permanent bleed that also increases damage taken from further serrated swipes. So every time crystallize is being cast, there needs to be a taunt swap so that the current tank can step into the circle and safely clear their bleed stacks. And the final ability in this phase is a dot debuff Heartrend that goes on up to four random players based on raid size. This debuff needs to be dispelled, but removing it does a ton of damage as a short dot to each player, so healers will definitely need to focus heal these players after they're dispelled. During all of this, there's also an ad that spawns a couple of times. This ad needs to be tanked and focused down quickly because when it gets to 20% health, it'll reduce the raid's healing received by a lot. When Call gets to 50%, she'll start the intermission where she gains a buff that reduces her damage taken by 95% but continues to cast her abilities. The goal of this intermission is to collect red orbs and bring them to Prince Renenthal here in the back of the room, charging him up so that he can blast away the boss's buff. A bunch of small red orbs will drop randomly around the room that people need to pick up and take to the prince. You'll also want to focus down any ads that are alive as well as the new ones that spawn in the intermission because they drop a big red orb that someone needs to pick up and take to the prince. When he gets the full mana, he'll cast a huge blast that removes the boss's buff and knocks everyone away, so be careful not to get knocked off the platform. Then the bosses will switch places and it's time for phase 2 with Grishal. So in this phase, you can keep the same raid position as phase 1. You're still dealing with wicked blast blades from Call, although it's now coming from the front of the room where she's flying. And now you're dealing with all of Grishal's abilities, crystallize you already know about. Grishal's tank ability is called Stone Fist. It's a big physical hit that knocks the tank back and applies a debuff that increases damage taken by further Stone Fist. The tank needs to make sure not to get knocked off the platform and also taunt swap at as low stacks as possible. Occasionally, random players will be marked spawning spikes at their feet for a few seconds. These players need to keep moving to avoid the spikes while everyone else also dies the spikes. And last, but certainly not least, Grishal will target a random player and cast Reverberating Eruption. This player will need to immediately move away from the raid because the cast will do damage to anyone in 8 yards and spawn a permanent zone of rocks. Every time this is cast, these zones of rocks will explode, which needs to be soaked by a player or else the explosion damage is done to the entire raid. And you have to drop each new zone of rocks in a new spot because the cast, as well as the explosion, applies a short debuff that massively increases the damage you take from other explosions. But simply, drop the zones away from the raid and make sure to have a player soak each of the explosions. When Grishal gets to 50%, he gets the same 95% damage taken reduction and you repeat the intermission, killing adds and bringing the orbs to Prince Renenthal. After he blasts Grishal, Call will return and now it's time for the final phase where you fight both of them using all their abilities at once. You can keep the same position as the first two phases with the raid stacked up behind the bosses and the tanks facing them away. Both taunt swap mechanics will be happening, but it should work out to where the tanks can just swap for every crystal 
crystallize cast and both mechanics will be dealt with. The tank going into the crystallize might need to use a defensive here. And then everyone needs to focus on the blades, the crystallized meteor combo, the stone explosions, and the stone spikes, while the healers also focus on dispelling and healing players with heartrend. There's a lot going on in this phase, so this is where you're going to want to use healer cooldowns and bloodlust to get it done. Try to kill the generals at the same time in order to avoid the enrage the surviving one would get. And that's the fight. Alright, so quick recap. Throughout the fight, players marked for Wicked Blade quickly move off to one side of the boss and fan out, while everyone else dodges the blades from the boss. Players targeted with Crystallize move slightly off to the other side of the raid, everyone with a bleed stack in the brown circle, and then everyone soak the yellow circle right after. During the intermissions, gather red orbs and bring them to Prince Renenthal in the back of the room. In the first phase, tanks taunt swap for every crystallized cast and use it to clear the bleed. Healers dispel and focus heal players with heartrend. In the second phase, tanks taunt swap when the stone fist debuff drops from either tank. Players targeted with reverberating eruption run away from the raid and have players soak each zone of rocks left behind every time the ability is cast. Everyone dodge the stone spikes for a few seconds during seismic upheaval. In the third phase, deal with all of phase 1 and 2 abilities, kill the bosses at the same time, and that's pretty much it. If you like this guide, support us on Patreon. We have a goal of reaching 100 patrons by the end of this tier so that we can do this again for next tier and keep making all kinds of other guides too. Thank you so much to all the patrons who support us already. We honestly can't thank you enough. Also, you can find our written version of these guides on Icy Veins linked below. Like, subscribe, and join our Discord to keep up with everything Ready Check Pull. Peace.